guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I got another piece for you guys, and today I'm gonna be working on my brother's car. It's about time we're actually gonna wrap his car. It's got back from the shop. Um, we fixed this, he fixed the starter within like five hours. So that was retarded. I worked at it for like two weeks. Um, so he got it fixed. Um, we lost, you know, a good chunk of money, but the car's back in the road. We're gonna wrap it for you guys. If you guys actually follow me on my Instagram, make sure you guys follow me right here. I actually post what I'm gonna be doing and stuff and why I haven't uploaded any things. So that's the reason I haven't been uploading is because I didn't want to put out some garbage content. I wanna have good content. We're gonna start wrapping today. You're gonna be starting to fix and put some, you know, some performance mods on the 350 because I do wanna get it track ready by this summer so I can go out to all kinds of sick events Maybe what? even meet some of you guys at these different events. So without further ado, let me get the, the 328 inside the garage and start working on it. But before we do that, guys, this is my brother's rap. Let's get in the sun first. Let's get in the sun, yeah. Woo! So what was it called again? What? Rising sun. Rising sun. <laughs> rising sun. Okay. Japan. Oh, rising sun is like a... Japan's nickname is rising sun. Woo! Right? Interesting. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that actually, see my car right there looking fine. Red. Nah, dude, this actually looks so good. Yeah. This is actually gonna look insane. I can't wait. So we're gonna go, we'll go ahead and get my brother's car in the garage. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be wrapping this side yet. We're getting the quarter panel touched up tomorrow. And then uh, we're gonna be wrapping the bad side, but we're gonna be wrapping the good side right now. All right, yeah, get your car in the garage, hurry up. All right, guys, so you guys did want me to go in depth on what exactly and how exactly we do the wrap on the E92s or the E90. So I didn't really do it with my BMW. What I do with my BMW is pretty much show you guys the process as me wrap, wrapping it, but I didn't really show you guys, you know, how I got around certain curves and how I did certain things to make it easier for you guys to wrap. So we're going to do, um, we're going to go ahead and wrap the fender that's all scratched up. Probably the, I don't know about the door. We do the fender and the entire good side. We're doing the fender on this side because it's disgusting. Um, and then we'll wrap the quarter panel and the bumpers and some other stuff in like the next video. Um, we're gonna try to do as much as we can in this video to show you guys how we do it. But uh, without further ado, let's just do it. I, just, I mean, honestly, really excited. I just want to uh, just want to see how it turns out. This is the ugliest part of the car right here. So like I said guys, the rising sun, it kind of looks like my wrap right now, but it doesn't, uh, but it's not, I mean, so we got all of our wrapping stuff right there, like the squeegees, the blades, and everything, we're going to go ahead and start wrapping it. Pretty much we're going to get the full size, but it's going to go ahead and uh, measure how long it is. Uh, pretty sure that's at least five foot, so we're just going to measure how much we actually have to cut from uh, uh, this thing, because no matter what, it comes five foot by whatever, I think we got like five by 40, so this is like five foot, and then it's probably like, uh, it needs to measure uh, that right say now. two feet. Two, uh, let's let's do a little, little over two feet. We're two like two and a half. So pretty much we're only gonna we're gonna pull it out and just cut it like uh, two and a half feet down because it is five feet wide. All right, guys, we're about to apply it right now. But before I do that, I just want to let you guys know the lighting in here is not the best because mainly my allergies is terrible, and having the garage open is going to really prevent me from working on the car. I want to get as much done as possible. So the lighting is not going to be the best. I'm going to try to make it brighter through the editing. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and work on it. Um, he's going to peel it and just straight up apply it. This is, the fender is really easy, to be honest with you guys. And since we laid it all out in one try, we don't even need to use any heat really. We'll use heat if we need to, but pretty much we're gonna go ahead and uh, just squeegee it all out and then use heat to seal it. But yeah, I mean, for the, we, we laid it out perfectly, so that's really easy. Uh, make sure you get the bulb out, don't forget. Alright guys, so we just pretty much done this, dude. Honestly, it looks so good on camera. Look on camera, man. Alright, so again, we just did this panel right here. Um, so pretty much what I did all the way across, pretty much laid it out, barely used any heat. We're gonna go ahead and cut this for the light, and then uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, the, the fender is not really much to it. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just laid out, and then just pretty much. Um, you, you do need heat when you're trying to crease it on the corners. You cut it pretty close to the door. Um, and then you just tuck it in. Same goes for the bottom, same goes around here. Um, for the wheel well, 
since it is pretty dirty, it's not gonna stick to anything. So what I have to do is tuck it in. There's like a wheel guard and then the, the fender. So I tuck it in between the wheel guard and the fender. It's not going anywhere then. Um, and it, it stays really flush and nice and it's not gonna come off when it rains and stuff. So that works out perfectly. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this little pocket right here. You might, we're probably gonna smoke these out and make them black in the future. We're probably gonna smoke those out in the future. So far looking great. We're gonna go ahead. What are you gonna do next, Johnny? Oh, what the? Huh? It's the other car. Yeah. yeah. Because the ah, uh, me. I don't know. What do you mean? What do you want to do, yeah? Really? <laughs> what do you want to do? What do you want to do? I have to answer the damn question, y'all. Yeah. I want to do the hood. So right. do the, we're going to go ahead and do the hood then. Yeah, Easiest right part. Huh? Easiest part. Well, hey, supposedly, it's supposedly it's easiest part. So on the on the G37 is actually dummy hard, so we'll see. So uh, my brother also ordered a lip first car. So when we do the bumper, um, we're gonna do it like halfway. We're not gonna wrap it completely because we're gonna put some 3M on the original paint and then um, we're gonna put on the new lip. This lip was like $65. So if you guys have a stock bumper and you wanna make it look more aggressive, this is the lip to go with. Like just comes right on out. This is a how to. All right guys, here's the lip. We're gonna go ahead and slap it on the car and see how it looks. So it's good. silver and black. I never even thought of that. That is way too nice. That is not okay. I'm not okay. <laughs> not okay. <laughs> my allergies, my god. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap the bumper. I mean, the hood real quick. sandpaper to sand the bumper. We want to make sure the bumper is 100% good for wrap. Um, so while he does that, we're going to go ahead and paint these. We don't like how this chrome looks. We're going to go ahead and paint them black. So now, so now. Oh. 
I'm really just going in and standing with 400 grit. And after you do 400, you do 800, and that should be smooth enough for wrap. And on this side, uh, it's almost done with the grills. I'm um, going to go ahead and put another coat on there. Guys, I just put on the last coat. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this while the eye gets to the 3M for the lip. Um, and that's pretty much the last thing we're gonna do for today. But let's wrap these tail lips. conclude yesterday's video with today's video because I forgot to record um, the outro so if you guys enjoyed the video and want to see the rest of the car getting wrapped in in-depth detail let me know in the description thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one peace out Shot in him a line and she's trying to get up on me. I tell her, like, Habibi, that's too hot on my line. He put where they are. I was raised with some mileage. And everyone got a friend named Abdi. I'm from OT. 613.